Yo, hey team, how you doing? So today I am in the kitchen with my beautiful girl from Rosanna who's over there and today we're doing a bit of an experiment. We're making our first big kind of vegetarian meal. Um, it's been playing on our minds, or both of our minds for a little while now, um, about potentially going vegetarian or, or at least cutting down our meat content quite a bit uh, just because the impact it has on the environment and just for ethical reasons, not for health reasons or anything else like that, typically just for, for ethical reasons and the way we feel. Um, so today, this is what we're making. Got it up on the laptop from my little website and we are making butternut squash and quinoa chili. So this, I've got all the macros down there which I can show you in a minute, but itself is over 20 grams of protein which is kind of cool. So this experiment is basically see how cheap, how easy um, and how well I can fit kind of other sources of protein and healthy food into my diet without relying on meat quite so much. So let's get busy. Okay, so here's the ingredients. We've got a tablespoon of ghee, uh, which is quite hard to find, which I do think is like an Indian, uh, it's kind of a clarified butter, yellow onions, garlic cloves, jalapenos, uh, salt, uh, butternut squash, I don't know how hard that's going to be to cook, uh, no added salt, tomatoes, kidney beans, cumin, paprika, red pepper flakes, veg stock, and quinoa. So we're just unpacking the shopping, and I thought I'd show you this, because this stuff changed my world. Beetroot is a bit boring normally, but if you can get spicy, sweet fire beetroot, it's like, it's a whole nother world. It puts your beetroot game through the roof. Rose is now sorting out the button of squash. Again, I, this isn't something I eat a lot of. I didn't even know you had to peel it. I kind of just thought you, oh, that's why, because when we did it with Jamie Oliver, he just peeled the skin off afterwards. He left it on, Rose. Because he roasted it first. Yeah, and it was amazing. But you seem to know what you're doing better than me, so I'm gonna let you peel that. Mm. And uh, I just get to eat it all, really. Go on. <laughs> Put some elbow into it. Okay, we're making two meals today. We're making the butternut squash chili, which you guys are seeing, but we're gonna box that up for lunch and stuff tomorrow. And today, for tonight's meal, it's actually a breakfast, but we wanted to try something. What is it called, Rose? Can you remember? But basically, it's eggs in a pot with loads of cool stuff, uh, chard and other stuff. But we'll do that in another video so you guys can see that too. Um, but I'm not going to have time in the morning, realistically, to make that for breakfast. So I'm going to have a little go at it, see how long it takes me to cook it, a bit like this. Um, and then I can kind of have a, a better feel for what foods I can put in my diet um, with high protein. The good thing about these, actually, is they've obviously got tons of vitamins and minerals because, for the most part, they're vegetables. Um, but... They've also got tons of fiber, which is always awesome. Oh, let me show you something that I picked up today you might like. So, if you count macros and stuff like that, sorry, I'm really orange, it's really important that you hit your fiber. A lot of people start counting and they're like, well, it's not working for me, but they haven't got their fiber sorted. What I typically say um, is 14 grams of fiber per thousand calories you eat a day. So if you were eating 2,000 calories, you'd want roughly 24 grams of fiber in a day. I found this stuff. Right, I've never had it before. I don't know what it tastes like. This is high in protein and fiber, and it really is. So this has got 200 grams in it, but in 100 grams, it has, uh, 100 grams, sorry, has 63 grams of carbs, 10 or 11 grams of fiber, and the best part of 19 grams of protein. So that's got a lot of good shit in that. I keep swearing, sorry. Sorry, mum. I've come up against our first problem, unless I'm just being really stupid. So I took the lid off the ghee, which is this kind of buttery stuff, which is here, and look at the top of it. There's no ring pull, no nothing. So I'm like, okay, can open this. I've got this, I can handle this. Problem is, we've got one of those really duff can openers that cuts the whole lid off and just leaves that really sharp edge. So I only want a tablespoon of it. That means I've got to get rid of this whole thing, which I don't want to do. Um, so I would ask you for your suggestions, but obviously it'll be way too late. So Rose, what are we going to do? Knife? We could do a knife. If I lose fingers, you know why. So we're just about ready to stick our ingredients in. Remember, we've got a tablespoon of ghee, we've got one chopped onion, two jalapenos sliced, and three cloves of garlic. But these three and the ghee are going in for about five to seven minutes with a quarter of a tablespoon of salt, and then this fella's gonna be added for five to seven minutes as well. Yeah. Jalapenos, go on, what you got there? Onions, and that must mean garlic. Oh, don't go touching me now you picked up with your hands. That's gonna stink the whole house out. Right, I need to get a wooden spoon. Da, 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 da. Spoon me up, buttercup. All right, give this little bad boy a stir. And like I said, it's got about five to seven minutes. Oh, salt, salt, need salt in. Okay. 
quarter of a tablespoon of salt, please. Yes, chef. You have to say that now. Every time I say something to you, you have to go, yes, chef. I'm the Gordon Ramsay or the Jamie Oliver in this, and you are you are the the, the head chef person. Does that work for you? Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Yeah. A couple of little things I just learned from my sous chef. Yeah, sous chef. You like that? One is with the jalapenos. Make sure you leave some of the seeds in it because that's where all the heat is. I knew that, but I didn't know how much to leave in. And the other thing is the ghee butter. Because it's not the same as normal butter, it can stay unrefrigerated, but it won't last quite as long as if it does if you put it in the fridge. So if you've got room in the fridge, whack it in there, and it will last longer, and you can use it again next time. Um, right, now that's done. So onions are kind of soft now, so we're going to chuck all this, what's it called, but squash in. So I'm a little bit reckless, so I'm just going to carry the whole thing over. And apparently this goes in for another five to seven minutes. Then we start adding other stuff in, and I guess we get some fluids with the tin tomatoes to help this soften along with the quinoa. Because quinoa is a real pain to cook sometimes. Um, moving on, so that's got to go into five to seven minutes. I feel like I'm being very good at telling you exactly what you need. Because you know when you're younger and you watch like Art Attack or some kind of uh, art thing on TV, and they go, oh yeah, we're just going to make this. They make it far too fast for you to even remember what they put in it. I can barely remember my name half the time at that age. And then it's like, all right, this is what we're going to make. And let's be honest, who keeps glitter sparkles, PVA glue, Crayola scissors and all that stuff in the house? No one does. But uh, Olivia, does. Olivia does. Apparently my niece does. Yes, yeah, she does because they're all on my bedroom floor and on my feet. Anyway, moving on. Go rose, tin tomatoes, kidney beans and spices. Spice me up. I was going to do a really bad Spice Girls pun, but I didn't. So that was what? Teaspoon of paprika, cumin and... Red chilli. Red chilli flakes. No, they're meant to be red pepper flakes, but we put red chilli flakes in. But it says red pepper flakes. But who the hell knows what red pepper flakes are, I don't. Not sure if I'm going to add this bit in because I didn't really, or I don't want this vlog to be a big political thing uh, with vegans, vegetarians and all the rest. I know it can get a bit heated um, and I know more and more people are doing it, but it's been on my mind for a long time and I think India kind of pushed me over the edge with it. Um, and me and Rose both love animals um, um, and I know the saying, oh, if you eat animal, you should be willing to kill it. And if it came to me or them, I would, but I certainly wouldn't do it on the quantities that I eat, and I certainly um, feel that my ratio is out of whack. So, like I said, whether this leads to me becoming pescatarian or vegetarian, I don't know. I think I'll probably give it a go, but I'm not doing it for health reasons, because to be honest, I don't believe it's any healthier, especially if you're getting good meat, some good sources, um, and the right quantities. Um, but it's literally just for ethical reasons for me, just for ethical reasons and for Rose. Um, and. I just feel like my balance is all out of whack and obviously I'm aware of all the, the stuff with the environment and stuff like that. I've done a fair bit of research on it um, and it is a bit of an issue. So um, that's my opinion on it. Um, hopefully it doesn't start a massive argument with people. Have your opinions if you want to, but be respectful to others. Um, we've all got our own way of living, but um, just try and be good people, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Rosie, do me the honours. <laughs> What's that? That's the stock and the quinoa. I'll wipe the stock in first, so otherwise that will just stick everywhere. Good. And that, yeah, go on, slam it in, so to speak. Giggity. Mm. All right, I'm gonna, there doesn't look like much quinoa there. What are you weighed? So? 55 grams, let's double check that, because that's like a, like a dusting. A dusting? It was, like a bit of dusting. Right, let's have a look on here. Quinoa, where you at, where you at? 55 grams, dry quinoa, that's what I did. Unless that expands, like, bloody blue ribbons, which are those chocolate bars that you have, and I swear they can solve the problems in the north of England at the moment. We've got massive floods. Just chuck a blue ribbon down, and literally it'll just suck all the moisture out of the atmosphere and everywhere. They're the driest things on earth. Anyway, moving from that to here, I might as well show you the macro since we're here. Come on, focus camera. So one serving, 439 grams, gives you 414 calories, uh, 6 grams of fat, 71 grams of carbs, um, 15 grams of fiber, which is awesome, and 22.5 grams of protein. So quite a lot of protein, quite a lot of carbs as well, to be honest. Um, so uh, you might want to have that post-workout, I could do that, although I'd probably want some faster acting carbs, but that's still quite cool. Um, and it's all horses for courses, really. You know, we've talked about it a hundred times. Um, it depends what kind of diet you follow, how you want your macros to work, what your calories are set at. That's your most important thing for gaining and losing weight, your calories. Then you want to start to incorporate your macronutrients because 
let's just say for example, you had to eat 2,000 calories to lose weight. You could eat 2,000 calories of rubbish food and still lose weight, but you'd also lose muscle if your um, protein was very low and you were working out, and you'd also, your health would deteriorate because the food sources you're getting out crap for the most part. So we want to eat the right amount of calories. Rose, put your top down, stop dancing, try and put me off. Although it's lovely, babe. Um, <laughs> What, you put me off my, damn it, she's got me, put me off my <laughs> I just scrolled down to find out that it makes four servings. So that is amount per serving, so that would be a quarter of what we've made. Which is quite important to know, because obviously you want to know how much you're eating. So, you get four servings of the macronutrients and the calories that I've just told you. Bosh! Typical John, cooking chilli whilst practising gymnastics. <laughs> 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 So the main thing we wanted to know with cooking more vegetarian based meals was were they going to be more expensive to eat that way and was it going to be more time consuming? Um, economical wise, price wise, I think it's going to work out cheaper. Uh, time wise at the moment it takes a lot longer but that's more probably because I don't really know um, what I'm doing because normally I'll have my set kind of meals or rough kind of meals that I'll make and they're very easy for me to do like I can grab a chicken breast and I can stick whatever veg and carbs I want with it and I'm sure it will become a lot easier for me as time goes on so I'm going to stick with it for a bit right I think we're just about ready to plate this up and I've got a tricky little tip to show <laughs> right so we've just plated up there is the butternut squash quinoa and chili Jay. Um, but I'm going to be a bit cheeky. I'm going to add some Greek yogurt on top. Um, it'll be a nice contrast in flavours. Also, it's going to be a little bit colder and it's going to wipe the protein up a little bit. So I think we're about 22 to 25 grams of protein. So if I stick a tablespoon of that on there, it's probably going to take us up to near on 30. So um, that's about what I want to hit in each one of my meals, roughly 30 grams. Like I said, we're going to prep all this stuff up. I'm going to take some of it to work with me tomorrow to make my life easy and I'll whack it in this little bag. I've got this little prepped and packed bag here that you put all your lunch boxes in. They give you little lunch boxes with it and it comes with freezer bags. I've actually got a discount code for those guys so I'll whack it in the, um, in the description box and if you guys want to get one, help yourself. Right guys, got my spoon, let's try it. So here you have it. Here's the final product. Um, so, I'm going to try it. I hate doing this on camera because I hate it when other people do it, but I'm going to try it anyway because I don't want to make it and then make out like it's rank or nice. Oh, it's really good. I love Greek yogurt on that. Oh, it's quite spicy as well. Yeah, that's actually honestly really, really nice. Um, it tastes exactly the same as chilli, but without the meat, to be honest. So, it's lovely. Um, what I'm going to do before I go, I'm going to show you quickly what we're making next um, and hopefully we'll be able to upload this um, in the week. So this is our next little plan that we're making. I'm going to flip this camera lens around so I can check that it's actually video in. Um, so it's got chard, eggs, tomato, it's called shashuka with Swiss chard. So um, hopefully that will be lovely. But on that note, I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching from myself and from Rosie and enjoy your week guys. Um, love you all. Bye bye.